Hey guys, what's up with you all? Hope you all are doing fantastic, mind blowing. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what are your person's current energy update. And if you are a cross watcher, not a subscriber, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And if you're already a subscriber, do not forget to leave me a comment down below. So let's see what is the overall energy? What is it? I see poverty. Oh, somewhere on the line, I feel that your person is feeling very left out all alone or you are, but somebody seems to be juggling with finances because of which one person definitely is sort of feeling very powerless, it seems right now. Right. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, I have a community uh, which tells me that, uh, you know, they are sort of trying to socialize with friends, family, otherwise as well. But um, I do see that there is a lot of community thing happening uh, uh, in their life or your life right now. There's a lot of socializing that can take place between you, your person or your person's life or your person's life. Judication tells me there can be some legal pro uh, proceedings or legal matters that you will be dealing with this coming week and they can be an unexpected income either yours or your person's but be careful of the health of some elderly figure in your family or they need to be careful about it the poverty card also tells me and uh, you know this card uh, the person that you are dealing with either uh, is of 37 years of age or 39 years of age right now let's see what is it that is advice to surrender in this connection surrender to prayer uh, give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive so it has been said that stop controlling what is not in your reach right now just surrender give it to the almighty surrender to the almighty just whatever you're looking for in your life give it to surrender to universe surrender to prayer and when you pray from within with all your heart universe will give it to you you just need to surrender what is right will come to you right you will get all your answers all your questions uh, answered you will get everything uh, in life that you do desire of and there will be things that will change in your life so don't fight back just surrender surrender to success you are ready to experience abundance don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities so success is also seen on the cards i feel that whatever past has been uh, however it has been now is the time when universe is uh, guiding you to surrender yourself completely and uh, just let universe take the charge of your life because i see success ahead of you i see lot many good things coming in for you let's see let's see what else what are their current thoughts and feelings towards you right now and first we will take out the energy card of the day what is the energy card what is a person's energy card of the day, please? That is King of Wands. Somebody is being very impulsive. Somebody is thinking a lot. Somebody is juggling whether, you know, kind of confused whether to stay, whether to move on. But being very egoistic, arrogant, confused, impulsive, behaving like a chameleon, showed something else but came out to be something else. I feel that this person uh, is very much attracted towards you. Okay, but at the same point of time, if you're going to ask me, uh, this person seems to be very impulsive, very in and out in your life. This person is not giving you the kind of stability that you're looking for. And they really don't know. They are not stable types. They are very in and out. They are very impulsive. They are very impatient, it seems. Though creative in a way, but very impulsive. 
five of cups i see regrets this person is regretting something maybe they said something to you or they did something because of which they are regrets uh, uh it can, can be past relationship regrets they are trying to connect back with you okay they're trying to they may be sending you a message today or they will try and connect with you and they will try their best wherein uh, you know they can have a conversation with two of pentacles this person is definitely juggling to make a decision to make a choice very confused and also juggling with money i do see that this person may be trying online uh, trying to upgrade their skills trying to become perfect maybe trying to get some uh, job opportunity or something is also seen with queen of pentacle a lot of uh, pentacle energies taurus virgo capricorn or um, very strong taurus virgo capricorn in their chart with the queen of pentacles i also see that uh, there are high probabilities or chances that you are looking forward um, that they uh, see you as somebody who is quite stable who's doing good who's very focused in their finances to have a stable life or a career so they see you some uh, somebody like that but they also see you as somebody who is worth getting committed to and get getting married to but I think because of their this impulsive nature, they have quite many regrets. Right now, they are grounding themselves. Right, they have gone into a solitude state of mind. Uh, you know, kind of doing a lot of self introspection. They have a lot of emotions for you. They want to have uh, a communication with the clarity with you. They are getting lot many clarities, uh, clarity right now, and they see you as somebody who's quite abundant, who's quite. Uh, you know uh, who's quite caring who's nurturing who's quite abundant and what not right now let's see what are your energies of the day okay what are your energies of the day please what are your current thoughts and feelings and energy card of the day please No contact. You don't feel like talking to this person or altogether I feel that you don't feel like talking to anybody right now. It seems like there is something, there is a ground, there is something which is bothering you. You are kind of in a zone wherein you don't feel like talking to anyone today. Lot many epiphanies are striking you and it seems like there are lot many things which is breaking down or within you yourself. There are lot many things which are breaking down in your life right now let's see what are the energies what are your current thoughts and feelings towards this person judgment you have taken a call okay you have taken a call what call is it but you have taken a call you have decided you have taken given yourself a direction with seven of swords i see that uh, you know you kind of done with this person's in and out and self sabotaging behavior wherein you feel that you know i'm done i'm not going to chase them anymore three of cups tells me that uh, you know you may be socializing today uh, probably you are trying to connect with all your friends have fun dive with your mind but at the same point of time you're done with chasing this person you don't want to see them anymore you've become very very cold offish towards this person and very practical you have practically you have cut them off wow wow oh hmm what are these persons next move towards this connection they are also mirroring you right now okay because you are mirror uh, you are coming as queen of swords they are coming as king of swords mirroring each other right now they are not talking you're not talking giving cold shoulders to each other trying to focus trying to be practical they are also reflecting and trying to mirror you right now but at the same point of time um, i see that they are also juggling to send you a message for few of you i also see typing and deleting text okay they are trying to uh, text you they are trying to get a revert from you with ten of pentacles i also see this person is sees you as somebody forever and at the same point of time i see a lot of abundance also coming in this person is very focused on money i see they are sh juggling with money six of pentacles two of pentacles uh there are some money issues as well th that is keeping them on toes okay that is keeping them worried there has been a lot of imbalance they are looking forward to get married to you but at the same point of time they are worried about their finances it seems like you know they uh, feel that you know they have to be at a better place to be with you somewhere down the line but i feel that you know money is not all because i see this king of wands here 
guys do tell me how do you feel uh you know it is uh, is it okay if your person or your partner is not doing pretty well but they do have ambitions they do have goals and they have zeal but at the same point of time along with that okay if they are not financially well they have a zeal they have goals they are working towards it they are mature and at the same point of time they are very stable and gives you that emotional cushioning and that emotional support isn't that enough as a person as a partner i think so it is right but what would you do if your partner is immature if they are impulsive if they are not focused in life if they are very in and out not treating you or this connection the way it is supposed to be treated then is this connection worth it do let me know in the comment section is this connection worth it if a person is not right right what else their next move please i see that they are going to adapt a cool shoulder to towards you although they are thinking a lot with four of one or four of swords um they are thinking a lot about uh you know gaining money gaining abundance uh trying to good in their uh, trying to do good when it comes to their finances there's a lot of imbalance and this person is definitely juggling with finances however with the emperor card i do see that this person is very dominating controlling and very egoistic as well although they are looking for reconciliation but even if they are trying to do that somewhere down the line their ego is also stopping them right and they are not even even able to move on and they are all confused what is it that i should do because i have a lot of attraction with my person that's what they are thinking i have a lot of attraction towards my person but you know uh what is it that i need to do to reach at that level right they are kind of stalking you as well right what else do we have let's see what are your next actions and move towards this connection you are ending it you're moving on you're transforming you're literally transforming you have taken a call to end it you are kind of running away and you are kind of trying to focus and divert your mind by socializing doing a get together with your friends or something or the other but yeah you are kind of running away i see that you are not interested uh, in reconciliation right you do uh, remember them in your memories and uh, you are looking for a more stable and a new connection in your life that is going to give you more stability who is going to mature uh, you know who's going to be grounded mature and who is going to give this stability and bring this stability in your life right and security and you are looking for see two aces i do see that there is something new cooking up or they it may come up within this month or in next one month there's a new passion and a new stable uh, person who is going to enter in your life you are ending this you're transforming you're not looking for a reconciliation you are cutting them off and you're moving towards higher level of commitment it seems see queen of pentacles all you're looking for is commitment moving on from the clumsy waters from the uh, uh from the choppy waters to calmer waters taking a decision looking for a brand new beginning in life done with the impulsive person here what else in future is stored from this person what else is stored in the future as per your person i think you've taken the right decision right what else in the future please queen of wands your person definitely is very attracted towards this see you as somebody who is a go-getter very passionate very creative they sort of see you as somebody who uh, knows how to lead from the front confident somebody who's quite bold right but at the same point of time i feel that they like you they are attracted towards you but somewhere down the line uh, you know they can't let go of you but at the same point of time this connection for them is becoming overwhelming and overburdening as well because somewhere down the line i don't think so that you're responding to them or talking to them and now they are you know feeling heavy with this the moon they have a lot of fears a lot of anxieties a lot of traumas right that you're moving on and it's ending that this connection has ended they're feeling betrayed they're feeling confused that you know i love and i do nurture this connection i wanted to be happy but now i'm feeling left alone all completely completely alone and uh, you know 
it's gonna take some time I'm gonna focus on my work and if I'm looking for commitment I'm gonna take some more time to heal myself I'm gonna be first successful and I'm gonna take care of my money I'm gonna have a new beginning first so this is what your person's energies are trying to focus on themselves creating themselves what is your future action says you're also focused on money working really hard I see that you're completely invested in your work okay you're completely invested in your work you have no time for anything right now rather you're blocking off all the energies which are creating hindrances you're not ready to take up any challenge you're kind of uh, pushing away things in your life and in case if they are going to communicate you're going to block them or you're gonna push that communication away from you you are just focused on your work right now you are very 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 hard working it seems and I see the ups and downs that you have faced in this particular connection you kind of become very uh, you know very off from this connection but now I see the life is now finally moving on you take the, the wheel of turn is turning you whatever heartbroken that you felt I feel that you're feeling very disappointed and that's why you are now ready to focus only on your work over here right you're very careful where you are gonna share your cup of love you're very futuristic and you're kind of confused uh, right now and I feel that you don't want to get stuck with any anybody who is so confusing or who will bring only confusion not security in your life two more or three more extra cards for this person please towards you They're waiting for financial uh, gains. They are waiting for something to happen. They are waiting for you. They have decided that you're going to come back. They are not going to take any action. And they will wait for you. And they are very sh uh, and they, they feel that you're going to come back to them. All right. They are not going to take any action in the future. They feel that you're going to come back. And they will get married to you. They will reconcile with you. And they will be happy times ahead. And you're going to share this cup of love with them. Right. So it seems like uh, this person is still hopeful, but now the ball is in your court. Whether you want this connection to happen or not, that is completely your discretion, right? Now let's see, what are the messages from your uh, person to you? You are my heaven on earth. I am still haunted by my actions. Please stay in my life, don't go. I am still trying to find myself. I want friendship with you. What else? I am really bad at commitment. I like you. I want to call, text you. See, um, didn't I tell you? I want to call, text you. They, uh, this person is trying to reach out. Okay. Hmm. Right, this person is still trying to reach out and they don't want you to leave them. They want to be with you. So all these messages are confirming exactly what I said. Didn't, don't you think so? That this is the reading that we have uh, done today for you. That this person is trying to reach out to you. Right? You are the best thing that happened to me. You are special to me. I need to go my own way for a while. I want to be with you forever. Why can't you tell how you feel? Because how you're acting is confusing me. And I want a romantic relationship with you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope this reading resonated with you. And basis this particular reading, I feel in case if you're actually moving on, if you're finding it difficult, but your practical mind is moving on and you're trying really hard to move on without much of a heartbreak, you can go for self-healing and cord cutting in this particular connection. It is going to help you out only. And if you want a reconciliation, if you want this person to call you, then you can go for a reconciliation healing. Tomorrow is 1010 10 portal new beginnings powerful day so you can go for a reconciliation healing and i'll be happy to book it for you do uh, dm me on my instagram uh, page the link will be in the description box below thank you so much i'm gonna see you later and by the way um uh, do let me know in the comment section the question that i've asked you today while doing the reading 
um, and also um, you know share this video as much as possible because I do see that you know uh, they are uh, there is some sort of reach issue on YouTube and it is you know reaching very slowly uh, to my viewers and also please do follow me on Instagram um, as well um, and I'll be very glad if you do that thank you